I hit record and we're ready to roll. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up. Let's go ahead and take a forward step, hands up, backward step, reach down. Just ease on into that. You can start with a, with a pretty short step. And then each time, maybe just reach up a little bit more, maybe step a little bit further, maybe hold it for a second at the top, maybe even hold it for a moment at the bottom, whatever feels good. Make it your own thing. There we go. But one thing we do want to remember is we don't want to hyperextend back. We want to lift to the ceiling. Okay. Get some good length going through your waist. Lift those ribs. Keep that foot on the floor. Plant it on the floor. Wow. There we go. Make me lose my balance. Ah, let's do two more of those. There's one and two. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. So we're going to take that other foot. Nice high reach toward the ceiling. Nice straight arms up there. Step backward and reach down. Again, you can start off with some pretty short little steps there, and you can work your way into it. Probably that's the best way to go. Nice high reach and a low reach. Foot on the floor stays on the floor. So we don't need that heel to pop up there. We want to keep that heel down. So then we get a stretch through the calf. We get a stretch to the front of the hip with the arms up. We get more of a stretch through the abdominals. There we go. Why don't we do two more? There's a one and two. Perfect. Okay, we'll go side to side now. So still warming up. Let's get your hands like this. We're gonna take a side step, reach up with the same side hand and then cross over and reach up that way. Side step with the same side hand cross over and reach up that way. There we go. Excellent. We got it. We'll do a few more. Nicely done. Oh, somebody emailed me with a question about the, uh, the view on the live classes here. So I don't know how many of you watch it in gallery view, which, which means that you see a bunch of people, or you can also choose to watch it in speaker view. So you can hit, if you touch your screen or touch a button, you might be able to see some options on how you view it. And then you'd see a bigger version of me, I guess, if you know, if you want that, I don't know if you do. All right, we'll go ahead and do the other side. We'll take that other foot off to the side, reach up with the same side hand, cross over and reach up there. There we go. Beautiful job, everybody. Keep that going. Step off to the side, reach up with the same side hand, cross over, switch hands. There we go. Perfect. That's it. A couple more of those. Oh, let's do one more each. Perfect. All right, one more little warm up here. We're going to take the foot, open it up, swing those arms around, come back around and swing them this way. Nice open step, and then bring it around. So, one thing you want to pay attention to here is that open step. Okay. You don't want to try to turn all the way around back like this and get a weird twist in the knee. We just want to take a nice open step. So it's off to the side. It might be back a little bit, okay? But it's just nice and open. It's not twisted all around. There we go. Let's do two more like that. One, two. Perfect. Okay, let's do the other side. Open step, swing those hands, come back around. 
Beautiful. Same thing here, right? We don't want to over twist and torque that knee. We just want to take a nice open step, swing around. There we go. That's looking good. And that foot that's on the floor, we keep that on the floor here, okay? As opposed to letting it pivot around <clears throat> because if we keep it grounded on the floor, we get more length through that hip and we kind of need that. It's good. One more. Okay, time to grab some weights. If you're gonna use weights today, grab some of your lighter version of weights, one that we can swing a little bit in different directions, okay? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and have a wide stance. Good. And we're gonna, we're gonna um, just start simple, both hands down, both hands up. Both hands down, both hands up. You wanna take your time, no rush, okay? Really controlled motion, right? Down into a squat and controlled with a high reach up. Again, we don't wanna hyperextend or bend backwards here. We wanna just reach for the sky. If you've got some weights, you want them to be weights that don't make you feel all stressed out, okay? Just a little extra resistance. Not having to hold your breath or cringe or hike your shoulders. Something that you can swing. There we go. Beautiful. It's nice to see everybody today. All right, five more of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Okay, we're gonna keep those feet wide, but we're gonna bring one a little bit forward, okay? So still a wide stance, just shoot one a little bit forward. Good, and now, we're gonna do a squat in that sort of offset foot position, okay? So when we say a squat, we want both legs to do the bending as opposed to like coming over here like that. We're just dropping down and coming up. Good, there you go. That's it. When I am working with people who maybe have an ankle sprain or they're recovering from an ankle sprain or they had one a long time ago and their ankle's still really stiff. These kind of squats are really good for this because that rear foot gets a little more bend than the front foot. So we can encourage a little more flexion, a little more load through that side because one thing we see a lot with people who have sprained an ankle and uh, ended up with some tightness in there is that the hip then, the ankle avoids a lot of flexion and then the hip avoids it too and you shift over and you do weird things with your hips and it starts to hurt your back, okay? Let's do three more. There's one, two, three. Fantastic. You know, we got to do that on the other side. So let's stay wide, but switch the orientation of those feet. So the other foot now is a little bit more forward, not a ton. Like if I look down, my toes are right about lined up with the back of my heel. So there's not a big step forward, but I am wide. So we're going to go ahead and go down into that squat and come back up. That's it. Very good. Working that upper body at the same time. Those overhead presses. So good. That's it. I'm gonna do just a few more. How about five more? There's one, <clears throat> two, 
three, four, one more. Great. All right, I'm gonna get a quick sip of water. We're gonna come right back at this. I keep forgetting where I put my water. Here it is. I'm gonna start my timer too. It was a pretty day out here today. Okay, we still have those light weights. We're gonna start moving the feet a little bit more, okay? So just uh, watch me for just a second. We're gonna take a lateral lunge. We're gonna swing down and come up high, okay? So then we're gonna switch feet. We're gonna do a lateral lunge with the other foot, swing down with the opposite hand and come up high. Then we're gonna switch that. Lateral lunge, swing down, come up high. Lateral lunge, swing down, come up high. So it's your swinging arm is the opposite of your stepping foot here, okay? And then we're just doing the other side. There we go, get that nice swing going. I love these swings for shoulder health and core engagement. It's good, spine strengthening and lengthening. All good. Keep that going. It's looking good. So a moment ago, we were wide, but we were squatting, okay? This is more of a lunge. So one leg is really taking the load. This leg is staying straight, okay? A little bit of a difference there. Good. That's it. Everybody looks good. <clears throat> We're gonna do two more each. One, one, two, two. So good. All right, let's go ahead and just get those hands right here. Okay, we're gonna switch over to a little bit of balance. So I want you to toe touch on one foot. Just tap that foot down, the weight is over the stance leg. If you can pick that foot right up in the air, go ahead. Okay. Whether you're toe touching or not, we want all of your weight to be on that stance leg. Okay. If you're toe touching, it's just a little kickstand back there. That's it. This is good. Stay tall. Feel the length of your waist, okay? Pick those ribs up a little bit. Feel how long your waist can be. A lot of important stuff in there. We keep scrunched down so much. Doesn't give all of our organs lots of space. We wanna give them room. That's good. Three, two, one okay Woo. shake those legs out that's good all right let's go ahead and balance on the other foot you can toe touch of course if you don't need to you don't need to that's cool there we go nice high reaches i like those long arms i'm seeing that's good stay tall just check in with your neck here. Sometimes when we do a lot of these overhead things, we tend to kind of get this little angle in the neck. You wanna lift through the crown of your head and make the back of your neck feel nice and long, okay? That's it. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Really good, guys. Very, very good. All right. We're going to move the feet again. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a forward lunge with a reach down. Then we're going to do a backwards step and reach up. Okay. Forward lunge or step, reach down. Step all the way back and reach up. So we're not just stepping back to like a 
regular standing position. We're stepping behind us, okay? So forward, reach down, reach up as you step backwards. That's it. Pivoting right over that stance leg. Far forward as you can, far back as you can with that stance leg staying right where it is. I do feel my stance heel, that leg that's on the floor popping up a little bit, that's fine. If you feel that on this one, okay? No problem. It's kind of the foot's rocking a little bit. There we go. That's it. Three. Two. And one. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and switch legs. We're gonna get right to it. Go, if you need a break to breathe or take some water, go ahead. If you're good, continuing on. Great, either way. Lunge forward, reach down. Step backward, reach up. That's it. We got it. We know if we're gonna lunge, we gotta lunge in all the directions, right? So that's a hint, you might feel that coming, okay? Good job, guys. Five. Four. Three. Good job. Two. One more. Really nice. Okay. Let's just have our feet about shoulder width apart and fold forward. A little stretch time. Okay. If you want to set your weights down, if you have weights, you can. If you want to keep them in your hands, you can. We want your neck and shoulder muscles to be relaxed here. So not trying to hold your head up, crown of the head down toward the floor. <sighs> okay, as we get ready to come up, let's have a little soft bend in those knees. Kind of tuck that tailbone under, just roll up bit by bit. We're gonna finish with some of those nice controlled shoulder rolls. We're gonna come all the way up, back, down is important and forward, okay? Up, back, push the shoulders down and then come forward. That down motion is one we don't give ourselves a lot of, right? Because a lot of times we're just up here, whether we're nervous or we're stressed or we're bracing for something. So pushing those shoulders down is an important movement for your neck and shoulder health and your posture. Now we're gonna go one at a time. We're gonna go all the way through that circle, one at a time, okay? Perfect. That's good. Okay, we're gonna do some more lunges in a moment, but first, get wide. Nice wide feet. Let's take one forward again, okay? So just a little bit forward, doesn't have to be a lot. I'm gonna take my hand of my rear leg, my rear side hand, rear leg hand. I'm gonna go down and across and up. Swing it down and across, bring it right up. That's it, you got it. Feel the length in your stomach and your waist with that high reach. Give it a chance to extend and lengthen out all those abdominal muscles. Oh, that's good. Nice. That's it. Things like this are a really nice way to work on your core because we're upright, which is where we need it. We need to find core strength when we're balancing, when we're reaching, when we're lifting, when we're walking, all those things, okay? So it's not just on the floor stuff, which is okay to do too. But I kind of prefer this upright core strengthening. I just see in my practice with people that it tends to make the most lasting difference 
We're gonna go two more. Ooh. One more. Beautiful. Stay wide, switch the feet, okay? So now the other foot is forward, but you're still nice and wide. Take the side of that rear side leg. So the other hand, reach down and across, right up here. Down and across, right up. That's it. Beautiful. And we know, of course, that we don't want to collapse down here and be able to see behind us. We want a nice neutral spine, no collapse. That's it, that's how we get stronger. Nice. We're gonna do a few more of those, so stay with me. Very good. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna grab some water. Then we're gonna come back for some more lunges. Woo! -hoo! Okay, let's stick with those lighter weights if you're using weights today. If you feel like you need a break from the weights, take a break. All right, we're gonna do a lateral lunge, reach down, cross over, reach up, okay? Lateral lunge, reach down, cross over, reach up. That's it. If you don't feel comfortable crossing over, you can always just step back too. If it just feels a little unfamiliar, but it feels safe and not painful, of course, go ahead and do it. There we go. Good. This position here, this crossover with these nice high hands, gets some nice length all through this side of your body. A lot of times I see people with hip trouble and they've gone to other, well, they've tried a lot of things, okay? And one thing that is missed a lot is above the hip, all the weight that comes down when we're not lengthening and strengthening. So when we can address that, a lot of times hip pain gets a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides here. We're gonna do a lateral lunge with the other foot. We're gonna cross over and reach up. Here we go. Beautiful. That's it. We got it. Very nice. And it might feel different crossing over on this side than it did the other side. That's pretty typical. But again, as long as it doesn't feel painful or you don't feel safe, go ahead and practice. Give it a try. That's it. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, guys, we're getting back to a wide stance. Not so wide that you can't move your hips. Go ahead and move those hips from side to side with that nice wide stance just a couple of times. Circle them around. We're gonna do a few circles in this direction. Go ahead and switch directions. Go the other way. That's it. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do a little punching, okay? So we're in a wide stance. We're gonna get down into like a sort of a defensive, I'm ready to go position, okay? So it's not a deep squat or anything, just a little bit. A little bend in the knees, a little bend in the hips, and we're gonna punch, all right? You can do it with or without weights. Both are good. See how my hips and knees are staying pretty relatively in the same position, okay? So I'm not coming up out of it. Staying in this crouched or defensive, ready to go position, and we're challenging that speed with the punches, 
We're getting some strength in those transverse diagonal muscles in your core. That's it. Stay tall through your upper body. You got it. Three, two, one. Nicely done. Woo, let's stay wide, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do a little squat down. Get your hands as low as it feels comfortable. Slowly come up, raise those arms up. It's like someone hit the slow motion button on your video. I want you to go slower than you normally would up and down, okay? Slow it down. When we work on this slow, controlled, up and down, we're kind of working against gravity. We're making it so mass and momentum doesn't play a big role here. We're finding every muscle we can to control that motion. Okay, only reach down as far as you want, as far as it feels right for you. You don't have to touch the floor. You can just go down a little bit. If you want, if you feel like it's a good challenge for you to get right down there, go ahead and do it. Listen to your body. Everybody's different. Three more. Three. That's why people of different ages and stages can do this class because we can make it our own. It's all movement. We should all be practicing and doing. You can use more weight. You can use more depth. You can use more or less of any of that. Just make it your own. Okay, we're gonna stay wide with one foot forward again. I'm liking this position today. Wide with one foot forward. Defense, get ready. Get ready to move, okay? A little, little bend in the knees, a little bend in the hips. We're punching again. Let's go. That's it. Just a little bit of a different foot position than we had before. Changes what's happening in the hips and the pelvic floor. That's it. We want to hit it from all sides. Scramble the egg and fry the chicken. Here we go. Keep going. Just a few more. Feel how strong your core is. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Really good. Stay here. Don't move those feet yet. Okay. We're going to go down a little slow stretch over that front leg. Come up slow. Overhead turning and looking the other way. Slow motion down over that front leg. That's it. Slow it down. See how we can use speed? We can go from fast to slow. They both challenge us in different ways. This is good. Nice. Don't forget, we want it to look like you hit the slow motion button on your video, okay? Don't go too fast. Slow it right down. We're gonna do one more over that leg. Oh, that's good. Okay, switch the feet around. We're still wide, put the other foot forward. Okay, let's get our punch on. Here we go, get ready, get defensive. Get ready to go. Okay, waggle those hips. All right, let's punch. There we go. <clears throat> Stay strong through your core. Stay in this little bit lower position with your legs. Challenge those thighs. Pelvic floor, butt, everything. We got it. That's it, I'm sweating. You guys are doing great. Keep going. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. That's good. Stay here with those feet. Slow motion. Down over the front foot. Slow motion. Bring it up. Turn the other way, overhead, slow-mo down, very good. 
That's it, everybody. Resist the urge to go fast. Slow it down. That is so good. We got it. Three more. One. Two. Three. Oh, fabulous. Let's get some water. That was good. Little hydration station. Okay. If you're going to use a heavier weight today, we'll go ahead and grab one of them now. If you're not, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my heavier ones. Going to go over to the wall or counter or whatever, something to touch that isn't going to move. Okay. So I'm going to have the weight in my outside hand. I'm going to be about an arm's ish length away from the wall. I'm going to balance on the outside foot. Okay. So the foot closest to the wall is the one that's going to be up in the air. Okay. I'm going to take this heavy weight. I'm going to reach down as I open my hips up toward the wall or the window or the counter, whatever you're holding on to. Then we're coming up with a nice high knee. Okay. Now you get to decide how far you go. You might only go a few inches. You might get close to the floor. Doesn't matter. Open up. So here I'm trying to kind of point my belly button at the wall so that I know my hips are opened up a little bit. We're going through a nice range. Okay. That's it. Nice high knee with that overhead press. Good job, everybody. There's no right or wrong on how far you go with this. Do what feels right to you. Okay, might even just look like that. No big deal, that's great. Okay. Good. That's it. Let's do three more together. There's one. Two, three, awesome. All right, let's turn that around. Switch hands on that weight. You're about an arm's length or ish away from the wall, whatever you're holding on to. We're gonna balance on that outside leg. We're gonna bring the weight down, kick that leg back, open the hips or belly button up toward the wall or the counter, and then we're gonna come up with a nice high knee. You're gonna take your time, figure out what's the right move for you here, how far you wanna go. You're gonna get stronger if you go a little bit or moderate or a lot, okay? But you want it to feel right for you. That's it. Very nice. I'm going to do a few more of these. Five. Notice we're not rushing anything here. We're taking our time. Four. Finding some control through that hip. It's a great lower abdominal exercise. Two more. One more. Beautiful. That was good. Keep that heavy weight. Okay. We're going to come back out away from the wall. Well, actually, 
we're going to balance. So if you want to stay near your wall, feel free. Okay. We're going to do a little balancing. So I'm going to pick one foot to balance on. I'm going to take this weight down. I might toe touch back here, or if I feel comfortable, I might kick my foot up in the air. Either one. Okay. But we're going to come here and balance with an overhead reach. Okay. So here, you're tipping forward. You might toe touch for a little bit of balance, but then you're coming up. Toe touch anytime you need to, okay? So over by the wall, that move that we were just doing with that one leg was really aimed at some length and strength through the inner thigh and front of the hip. This one is aimed more at the back of the thigh and the outside of the hip, okay? So we've got to hit it all. Only two more. One, two, that's it. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and switch that around. Okay, we're gonna balance on the other foot now. Toe tap or kick back, okay? Whatever you feel comfortable with, coming up overhead. Toe tap. I think I'm gonna stick with the toe tap because that makes me sink a little bit more into that stance leg, that squatting leg. If I kick my foot up in the air, I might have a tendency not to sink down into that movement. Good, nice. Let's do three more together. One, two, that's it. Three, perfect. That was great guys. We can put that weight away. I'm gonna grab one more sip of water here. Okay, we're gonna do some fast beat, finish fast. All right, so we're gonna do some lateral, um, I can't talk, lateral shuffles, okay? So we're gonna get kind of in this ready to go position, a little bend in the hips, a little bend in the knees. Shuffle here, shuffle here, okay? Doesn't have to be a ton of steps, we're just a little shuffle, 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 shuffle. We're going three speeds. Okay, start off knowing you're gonna go faster two more times. Okay, so save a little bit of that. There we go. Just get, get yourself feeling comfortable with this movement. Okay, we're staying low. Challenge yourself to have quiet feet. Okay, if you, if you hear a lot of stomping, banging, see if you can quiet those feet a little bit. We can do that by staying on the balls of the feet a little bit more. Speed it up. Second gear. Okay. A little faster. We're still going to go one more. So save a little speed for the end. That's good. Nice. Quiet feet. Okay. No stomping. Quiet feet when we do this. Go fast now. Okay. Go your fastest. That staying on the balls of the feet, staying kind of quiet with those feet is really good for our resiliency in the muscle, okay? Makes it springy. Gotta have a little spring in the step. Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Great job, everybody. That was awesome, high fives. Really good. All right, we're gonna breathe together. Maybe. We'll put one foot forward. Exhale down. I'm dripping in sweat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Let all that air out. Fill them back up. Exhale down to the side. Inhale up. 
Exhale down, blow out that last candle. Inhale up. One more. Sweet. Switch feet. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let all the air out. Inhale up. Next time you go down, go down to the side. Inhale up and open. Give yourself one more of those. Awesome. Another round. Way to go, everybody. That was so good. So good. Feel free to unmute. Thank you, Robin. That was really nice. Oh, I'm glad.